From anxiety, from fear, to confidence, to fearless. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help entrepreneurs empower their life. I help them reprogram their mind for confidence, success, happiness, fulfillment, abundance, you name it, I do it. So like I said, it's just about fear, anxious, anxiety, to confidence, success, purpose, fulfillment, happiness, joy, whatever it is that you want to go, empowerment. Now, you may be looking at me now and a lot of people say you're overly positive, you're so positive. You seem so happy. I've literally had people say, I would love to be that happy. Now, don't get me wrong, this doesn't come at a, a, a random thing. It doesn't just happen. Every single day, I fuel my car. Imagine yourself as a car. You could be a Ferrari, you can be a, a, a Ford, you, whatever it is you want to be. You could be a truck, I don't care, or a motorbike. But imagine yourself as a vehicle. You have to pour petrol or charge it if you're a Tesla. You have to pour pet, you have to put fuel, some form of fuel into the car. Now, that car will not move if the fuel tank is empty. So what is it that I do every single day in order to get me to that fulfillment, that, that happiness, that purpose, all the way from depression, anxiety, fear, constantly. And I mean constantly. Now, what it takes, and this is the power of repetition. Before I understood the subconscious mind to a deeper level, I knew the power of repetition. How did you learn to drive a car? You got in, Foot on the clutch, first gear, look in the mirrors, hands on the steering wheel, is your seatbelt on? Yep, check your mirrors, indicate, check your block. So it's all one big thing. There's so many different mechanisms to this one process. Now, it's illegal, but you could you could go on your phone, you could probably call someone, you could, I remember I used to roll cigarettes when I, like, obviously I don't smoke anymore, uh, but I used to roll cigarettes when I, I was, I, when, when, years ago. And I could do all of that because it was one process. So, if you want to fully release your anxiety, and this could be on sales calls, this could be with people, this could be in networking, whatever it is, this could even be on camera. I used to hate speaking on camera, especially because I used to hate the sound of my voice. Now I've just grown to accept it. I don't really listen to my own videos. There's actually, in fairness, there's a few that I do listen to because I like the understanding where I came from and I like to, to reconsider my answer because I'm not gonna be right all the time. I'm gonna be right as much as possible, but my perspective is always gonna change. My purpose is always gonna change. So I'm always gonna gain more insights into specific topics. Three months ago, you look at some videos, I probably have more insight today and I may, may, may even cover an old topic that I've covered but I'm coming at it from a different standpoint, if that makes sense. So you're probably wondering, and that's why you're on this video, how do you release that anxiety that's full of you? Now, your brain, your body, you, are made up of habits. You think habitually. The thoughts you thought yesterday are the same thoughts you're likely thinking today. The same side you rolled out of bed in the morning is likely the same. The same breakfast you had, the same time you had breakfast, whether you went to the gym, whether you didn't go to the gym. Whether you brush your teeth with your right hand, whether you brush your teeth with your left hand, whether you write with your right hand, you write with your left hand. Whatever it is that you do, it is habitual. So, it's actually unfamiliar and it's scary for your mind to step outside of the unfamiliar. So anxiety, yes, is causing you pain. Yes, it's causing you stress. Yes, it's causing you to feel bad about yourself. Yes, it's making you worry. But that is familiar to your body. So the only true way to let go of this is to step outside the unfamiliar. If you don't know the language French, and I started speaking on this video in French, straight away you would either turn the video off or put subtitles on and translate it to English, either or either. Because English is familiar to you, correct? So the reason English is familiar because you've learned it over time. It's, a, a, it's conscious, it's unconscious. You do it every single day. If I want to spell cat, C-A-T. If I want to say the next sentence, I can speak it. I don't, like, it's weird. I don't have to think it. I just speak it and I'm just speaking it now. So you need to ask yourself, what are those feelings and emotions that I've taught my body emotionally? If that's fear, anxiety, regret, resentment, pain, anger, guilt, shame, hurt, you need to find new programs. Now ask yourself this, do you know what it feels like to be happy? Do you know what it feels like to be confident, abundant, joyful, prosperous? If your answer is no, 
then how do you think you're going to be able to speak that language, just like French? How do you think you're going to be able to understand French if you don't know at all how it works, how, the, how this, a sentence is constructed in French? If you don't know how a sentence is constructed in positivity, in abundance, in joy, in purpose, in happiness, you need to learn. And yes, I may, I can empathise where you are. You may be struggling. You may have no money. You may have no friends. You may have no, no joy. You may have no purpose. Because I've been there myself. So you need to ask yourself, what is it I need to do to remember this? What is it I need to do to learn these states of mind? Now this takes, this part is the, it's the easy, but the, it's simple, but it's not easy. You just need to teach your body emotionally what it feels like to feel abundant, joyful, happiness, prosperous, whatever it is. Now, how do you do that? That's about getting yourself into a state, state uh, into a still state of mind. When you get yourself self into such a still state, you can basically cut off from the conscious mind, the analytical mind, take yourself into the imagination mind, and your mind cannot differentiate between the dream world and reality. So I'm going to explain exactly how you do this in another video. If you want that video, comment below. Let me know. I'll explain exactly how you step out of that old, that old uh, anxious mind, that old fearful mind, and step into the new prosperous, abundant, joyful, happiness mind. So I hope you like this video. Like it if you do. Comment if you have any questions. Have an amazing day. Keep smiling, spreading love, kindness, positivity, and let go of that fear and anger and stress and resentment and anxiety once and for all.